Well, this is an absolute thrill for us, uh, especially because today uh, joining us is uh, uh, Croy and the boys. So Croy and the boys are uh, uh, Amy Hawthorne and Casey Seymour and Stephen Craig Carlson and Joe Cornetti uh, and bad boy Croy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Croy and the boys make Austin, Texas music. Somewhere between hard country and hard boogie, Croy and the boys are just part of a burgeoning scene of younger country upstarts that claim Austin's musical heritage as their own, and they claim Austin, Texas as their home. You can find them at honky-tonks around town as they work to remind people that in order for country to go outlaw, it has to come to Austin, Texas first. Please join me in welcoming Croy and the Boys. Well, gas is going up again, and the rents are all too. Just spent a couple hundred on the windshield and need some brake work too. That's this modern world we're living in. And that I understand But I'm still making ten an hour Which ain't even that bad Oh, it seems Like you can't just be Poor anymore Remember when things were free Like museums and the zoo Now you gotta pay just to drive on the highway And swim in the swimming pools Automobile and health insurance we all need legally But the only plans that I can afford don't cover anything Oh, it seems like you can't just be poor anymore Remind me, be you didn't need a lot to enjoy life Load up the family into the car and head out to see the sights. But second jobs and part-time gigs means no vacation days. Can't get enough hours for benefits or to qualify for a raise. Oh, it seems like you can't just be poor anymore. Well, I've been working hard. job of my dreams in a tall building downtown I'm just trying to cut myself a slice of that American pie raise some kids have some fun on the weekends and live a decent life oh it seems like you can't just be poor anymore oh it seems like you can't just be Thank you, Austin. One of the things that really separates Austin from other music cities like LA, Nashville, whatever, is uh, I think that those cities attract people that are ready to start their career. And so they're super business minded. They're looking to, you know, kind of schmooze and just like, you know, like just kind of work their way up or whatever. And I feel like Austin is a really great place to be creative. And I think my experience has been that musicians and artists here are just super approachable because it's not a bunch of people cutthroat trying to get ahead. It's people that are legitimately enjoying making art and are looking to grow themselves artistically. And so just being real with people and, you know, making personal connections. I feel like everything that's happened for me so far in my music career in Austin has been just through personal connections. It hasn't been like sending the right sounding emails to the right people. It's been like 
just hanging out at shows and being social with other artists and musicians. And the city's small enough that like, if you just dig around, you can find where all the stuff is. You know, there's jazz scenes, there's hip hop scene, there's a huge Tejano scene, there's all this stuff. And it, you know, they might be kind of compartmentalized, but you can find them and just not being afraid to go outside of whatever you think your stuff is. Coming from Ohio, I never thought I would have an accordion in the band or like sing songs sometimes that are in Spanish. <laughs> but you know, I was open to it and that's one of the things I'm so thankful that I came down here for was having being open to that kind of stuff. Yeah.